Well, there you go. Nice one. Well, what sort of. Oh. So there's a bit of afters. <laughs> of course there is. <laughs> I didn't edit it properly. <laughs> <laughs> is yeah. that you clapping yourself? I was clapping, clapping, it was clapping my wife. It was the very good. Yes, thank you. But we're very proud of you for singing well, that. Well, let me just explain. And then we went and collected the kids from school. Congratulations. <laughs> was all the instruments live in your it garage? It was. So there's a could fella be, called... Could be anyone, that's... Mate of mine, well, Rich. Let's, well, oh, yeah, Rouse, let's introduce our second guest of the show. Thank you. So with Rob Rouse, yeah. uh, joining me with my guest, Ian Boldsworth. <laughs> <laughs> and Rob, <laughs> who I've only just met, so yeah, I didn't yeah. get your surname, yeah, Rob. Yeah. Rob Sheehan uh, right, is so joining me now. So what's happened? Rob Rouse. stage name. Rob has been invited. This is this Rob, Rob Rouse, has been invited to stay for a bit longer because it's like... Because I don't see him very often. And also oh, to really? eat some how, of that smoked you, cheese. How often do you see him? Well, you see each other every day. And that's in not often days, enough? Well, not for the last 20... No, we don't anymore. The last 20 oh, years. Oh, right, right. So Wait, what's see- changed? Has there been a break-up? There was a break-up. There was a break-up. Yeah, we, yes. used, we started out yes. in comedy together, Rob, and then uh, we had about six glorious years six together. Six glorious years. With mm-hmm. another lad called John. Oh, God, he beautiful guy. Beautiful guy. Do you have a, really a, 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 a comedy troupe? Do you have a name? Yeah, comedy troupe called Big and Daft. Yeah, John was and... <laughs> and uh, I'll tell you what, <laughs> it's still. Do you know what John's actually? I've, I've yeah. started working quite closely with John again since we've been writing this puppet thing. I together. don't know how you get anything done. I don't. Wait, we started doing Skype <laughs> stuff, and I'm like, I can't. Yeah, I, it's going to have to be audio. Yeah. It's going to have to be audio because to be, mate. How, uh, can't take my eyes off. What are we talking here? Are we talking Kirk Douglas? Handsome? Yes. That's actually a good wow. call. It's a great call. It's but a great young, start very young, point. young Kirk Douglas. A young Kirk Douglas. I saw a documentary recently where they did a, a, a study on Kirk Douglas's. Symmetry, right. yes. the symmetry of his face, and he was up there. If you're past seven out of ten, right, in the symmetry scale, you're a knockout. I'm not exaggerating, yeah. and I, I don't, I, w- I won't say if Rob would back me up or not, but I think he will. I think <laughs> with John, yep. we reach levels of symmetry previously unrecorded. Yeah. I, I think that better than Kirk. This is just, Kirk's only around seven point yeah. five. Gosh. Well, Gosh. that's the thing. So if you have perfect symmetry, mm. that's not actually attractive. But you know, it's a common misconception. Yeah. It's perfect symmetry. It's, it's got damn freak show if you get to have a John, John goes <laughs> per- haunting. Perfect symmetry that then works. Yeah. That's right. all I could explain. Wow, I need this yeah. guy on the show. Will he come in, or are just too beautiful to come in on the show? I, I, right? I don't think you would not be able to straddle him while we were doing the radio. What, and that's what? Oh, what give it a go. Has there b- go. ever been something spontaneous on the street to kind of denote his beauty? Like oh, yeah. someone stopping faint. Jaws mm. again? Yeah, faint, fainting. <laughs> fainting. Really, though? Yeah, genuinely. The, the only reason we don't faint is yeah. because we were around him a lot in the early <laughs> right, days. Okay, yeah. Yeah. When we yeah. would just be rehearsing and stuff like that. Just get used to it. Often you just hear, don't. Right, Rob's gone. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. o- often. You'll yeah. just catch him at a certain wow. angle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. An like, ideal angle. Or, or if you didn't, or if you came out the toilet and you didn't know John would be waiting to go in, yeah. Mm. Yeah. game over. Oh. So, so, so <laughs> like, game like, over. like with heroin, the broken promise, yeah. Yeah, yeah, first yeah. time you have it, it's like, Brilliant. Nothing's ever going to be better than mm. that, mm. Right. and then every time you're still reaching to try and do that. So we essentially use John like heroin, mm. in that we just had to go. Well, no, he can't be as handsome today to us as he was yesterday because we must be used to it a bit. Yeah. Mm. And it took a long time. God damn it, he just got more handsome the next day. We just, <laughs> we got, I think it got to a point where we just stopped looking at him. Okay. So what, how did you cure your uh, John withdrawal? Your John opium withdrawal. How I don't, did you do I that? don't personally did you go think cold I turkey? No, it was about four years where I had to wear police horse blinkers, so I didn't <laughs> catch John in my peripheral vision. Okay, that's good. That's good. Um, because then I'd, I'd rear up. Yeah, but, but what? Uh, yeah, so if I knew I, uh, it would be in front of me, then I'd be get ready for it. Oh, there he is! Oh God, he's good looking, and I could move away, but I wouldn't be shot by him in peripheral vision. I had vision. to just wow. spend about maybe 15 years literally not speaking to him at all mm. wow Which this must have been tough it. on stage you know you're yeah, kind well, of giving God. yourself God yeah, Rob. extra labour yeah. can you imagine this situation Rob um, <laughs> actually, I'm, I'm, I'm really I'm, glad I'm, Rob's I'm, come in because yeah. it's really helping us deal with it I'm going to go Robert with Robert and yeah. Rob with you because okay. okay. it's two Robs okay. so Robert um, yes. so imagine this situation it's genuinely mm. true okay. I had not seen John for I think it was 14 or 15 years wow. and then a mutual friend of ours died she right. very much younger than she should have been but you know she died mm. and so the first time i saw him in that time period was at a funeral, at a funeral? for a friend that we loved very dearly right. emotions so are heightened imagine that imagine being at a funeral for someone who you care about and love and miss every day now somewhere still. you're not allowed to get a boner yeah imagine yeah. that and then yeah. who should walk in <laughs> wearing, wearing a suit so. by the way the best looking man in the entire unit by the way me and rob 
Ralph's both historically heterosexual, so it's not mm. anything like that going on. But it's just historically heterosexual. Yeah, but because it's ancient Greece. It's been in all the books. <laughs> no, but all the books. Because when when, <laughs> thi- when when things like when things like this happen, you do then just yeah, question. Yeah. Well, why am I feeling this way well, about a man when I'm historically heterosexual? Yeah, you probably have a tipping point. You know what I mean? Of male yeah. beauty when you, you should, would get honestly, stuck in. If you could see his tipping point. I, I want to like see it now. You're going to have to show me a picture. Is like there a picture going to level mixing, up? Have you got like a mixing bow in your house? Yes. Right, it's like that, but with jeans around it. What the it's hell? A, that's not, that doesn't make any a, sense. A mixing that's his tipping bow. point. That's his, oh. down his, down front, his pants. Down his front. Wow. It's like Into, that. It's, it's like a or dome. I thought if you were to do that to Rob's pants over here, they, it would be catastrophe because the pants are made of leather. Extreme biker it's been on leather. His bike. But I'll tell you as yeah. well, this is the thing we've not discussed so far. So, cool. by the way, welcome to the show. But Thank here's you. the thing that we've not discussed so far in the, within this scenario. Because me and Rob have been speaking about this mm. in, on the show already. Um, Rob's, Rob's got a, um, uh, a, a, a big, a bigger, a bigger gentleman down down below. Has he? Yeah, Rob has definitely. When has he shown you I've in this never radio shown you my I've seen it in passing. When have you seen it? <laughs> when you say, we all, you always used to have wheeze next to each other. Oh yeah, wheeze next to each other. And we bathe each other sometimes. I've got a video of me washing your face. <laughs> face. Yeah, that was only what? my face. Is that what you call it? But you didn't yeah. have much on. We we saw them in past when we were getting changed and stuff. Getting changed. What about on stage? Did you well, I've never seen yours. No, no, but I'm very guarded on mine. Did not you ever very incorporate big. it into a comedy <laughs> sketch? <laughs> I'm no. very guarded. I'm not very guarded, uh, but I'm very guarded. In fact, I bought some pants in America recently, yeah. which um, make my packet look a bit bigger. Really? Yeah. Did you buy them in the store? Them? Yeah, they're called Hames. Did but you I try them on first? Before no, then? but I like the feel of them. They're quite silky. Someone on <laughs> online has said that they're like pantyhose, which I don't agree with, but I do think that they certainly are constructed in such a way that they keep the um, testicular penile area, as, mm-hmm. let's call penile that a mound. Area. The mound, yeah. Right. They, they keep that mound all in the same place, giving it a bit more... Giving it a bit more bulge. Because I'm dreadful on the like slack, Like a wonder bra. A wonder bra for your dick. It's, it's exactly right? that. Wonder, wonder it's exactly dick. that. Wonder How often dick, are okay. you in your pants so that people can see the bulge uh, at its best, it's ma- Well, um, in my bathroom, I've got an entire wall of mirrors in my bathroom, mm. and I, I often will just, when I put them on after a shower, mm. I'll just have a look at that for a bit. My brother-in-law uh, loves being naked. And right. even at the reception of his own wedding in Portugal, got naked yeah. later on in the evening. Just for what's, no reason. What's that for? What's that about? I though? think he just likes to be liberated from oh. clothes. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's Fair quite enough, nice. Yeah. As much as he can. Well, I did. I might talk about this on next week's show, but I did quite a lot of skinny dipping recently and, and thoroughly enjoyed it. Yeah. So, Umbrella <laughs> Academy season two comes out on Netflix uh, yeah, yeah, soon. Rob Sadly, I'm not naked yeah. enough. Yeah. Robert, Robert, Robert Sheehan. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The actor Robert value. Sheehan has, has joined us here in the uh, in the Fubar studio here, Frank where you can say bottom or. Or tits. Where yeah, everyone is naked from the waist down, yeah. aren't yeah. yeah. And yeah. all this talk, all, the, all that's got to be said, though, all this talk about how beautiful John Williams is. Very good, Rob. Flipping neck. Robert over there. Look at those eyes. <laughs> 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 you are, they're very, very disarming gentlemen. They really. Oh, thanks, Very, 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 very good looking young lad. Is this how you lured John into your comedy troupe? No, yeah. well, not really. No, then, I mean, that would, be a, a, that would be a coincidence. But I don't f- know whether you're looking to form another comedy trio, Robert. <laughs> There's three well, of us I mean, here now. You know, we've just John's met. We're doing all right. On well, the John's radio, all the way. Yeah. Down, John's all the way down in Kent. Yeah, he's teaching. He? So. Right, well, yeah. Yeah. Has he been? Uh, has he been kind of excommunicated from the London area because he was too bad for society? He kept like well, ruining families. Well, he was causing too many riots. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Causing <laughs> too much extramarital love. <laughs> but yeah. Okay, I can see there's three working here. A little <laughs> menage, yeah. a little menage. It could work, couldn't it? But yeah, we could be even more side Yeah, but I just feel like the sort of. Um, sloppy seconds to John. Do you know what I mean? No. Well, we could probably get I, John. I can't actually remember who that other guy is I was talking about. John. <laughs> the, the, a John, John tribute act. Could give you a ring. He could maybe give you a ring and talk you through it. <laughs> what it is, g- what it is yeah, that what, he what does. Do. And maybe this some tips on how to finally leave. Because that's what he could. Me and, me and Rouse will get on with like a bit of air dye and stuff and I'll, like try oh, and yeah. young us up a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we'll, tr- we'll try and light it creatively. Yeah, we could do big and daft again. Creative lighting. Yeah. How, how old are you, Robert? I'm 32. You think? Yeah. So we, we just put Robert further back, so he was hard <laughs> to see. I'd go forward then. They're not looking at us as much. 
Yeah, that's a good point. Do you want to get bleached out, like sort of downstage or more in shadow? Upstage? That's a good idea. Yeah, yeah. Well, I you we will put you where the lights are best, and then me then can be bleached out in shadow. No, so ble- bleached out would be more. A bit bright. like when you you know when you've been on holiday and then you go mm. to a nightclub and it's got UV lights and exactly you suddenly that. think you yeah. look weller than you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that what the UV lights are for? I, I think kind it's of what it is, yeah. I despise them with a the passion to make you look more well. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I think, isn't it? Someone told me that they put UV lights in a McDonald's bathroom mm. so that heroin addicts can't find their. That's, 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 that's the blue lights. So they'll put blue oh, lights right. in club um, bathrooms and stuff. Yeah, like UV. That apparently, mm-hmm. is it UV? Yeah, it's, though, UV. That? Is it it UV? it's UV. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, so you can't see the blue of the vein. That's the that's what oh, they're for. I thought it was because it was tragic, colour. isn't it? Yeah. Tragic. Yeah, I guess it is. It's tragic. But then yeah. again, who needs a big drug? Yeah. Like that. If you've got people like Robert or Thingy who we used to work with, what's his face? Can't remember his name. <laughs> Can't remember his name. Like, He's like gone. Uh, James, like that guy was. I think. Who needs a drug what's like that when you? Well, we used to like double like back in the day. It's brilliant. That wasn't it. Ian and Rob. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember that one, Ian and Rob? Rob and Ian, if you want. How will yeah. this new one be? Ian, comma, Rob. Um, Umbrella Academy. Yes. I'm going to get us on, Rob. Oh, you're in the Tudors. Do you know what? No, right? that had some slap and tickle I, in it, that one, didn't it? It did. <laughs> I was 18, right? And I told all my relatives in, uh, in America that I was going to be in the Tudors, and then yeah. they all watched it, and I was cut out. Were you? Oh, yeah. oh no. man. No. Yeah. I was cut out of it. Was, it. was it a slap and tickle scene? It was slap and tickle to the Virgin Mary. Was it really? Heavens. And was it cut whoa, out whoa. because it was too sexy or because of blasphemous reasons or was it cut out because it wasn't relevant? I don't know, but it was an extraordinarily, extraordinary waste of money because there was myself and another actor called Aaron and then there was sort of some featured extra lads and we were a gang who right. burst into a Catholic church, right? Okay. After Henry presumably has seceded from Rome, the Roman Empire. Right. And we kind of run up on the altar and start trashing the altar and the priest is like, This is ungodly. Get out. Get out of God's house. And we're like, Yeah, well we're the new gang, yeah? We're Church of England <laughs> <laughs> And, and I to went. be honest I did the scene not really o- f- knowing what it was I was making. Got I was you, okay. 18. And so I don't really understand the historical context no, of this. One of the best bits of advice I ever heard about acting, about that, that particular element of acting, of mm. being cut out of stuff, was on the final Big and Daft show on BBC London, when myself and Rob used to present on BBC London. Nice. And it was by Marcus Brigstock. Mm. Right. And mm-hmm. Marcus Brigstock mm. was our guest. He was replacing the man who was the cricket man. He used an impression of him. Ian no, 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 it wasn't. It was Henry somebody. Henry. Oh, Henry Blofeld. He was meant to be on, and I think he was poorly. Blows. So, so yeah. Brigstock came in as a substitute guest, and he told us during that interview, because he was in Love Actually, mm. but it hadn't come out yet. Oh, mm. yeah. Right, and we right, were right. talking to Brigstock about this, and he, and he said, I don't even want to talk about it because um, I've done a thing which I think all actors should do, which is you read the script all the way through, and then read the script all the way through if you're just in one scene. And read it without your scene and see if it still see makes sense. See if it still works, yeah. And he said he'd done that, so yeah. he wasn't confident he was going to end up actually in the film oh, as wow. it turned out. And, and did he? He did, yeah, he oh, was in it. Yeah, yeah, he made the cut. Yeah, yeah. Thank made God. the cut. I don't want to rub your nose in it. <laughs> <laughs> so when, I, when I read scripts, I always think I could be in this more, or I could yeah. be in that. <laughs> No, that, you know what I, mean? I could be that, in this. And that, I'm sure they're probably sa- thinking true. the same <laughs> thing in the, in the production office, you know? Yeah, yeah or oh, like you, you watch Superman and think, uh, I could have bitten the man who goes, there's a phone box over here. Yeah. This is Superman. But he just finds it, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah, he just well, now that Stan Lee has passed away, they're probably looking for, oh no, because he's DC, isn't he, Superman? So Stan Lee never Superman made cameos. DC. No. But I'm sure he would have done. Should be the, they should have a sort of a, a, a kind of an equivalent to Stan Lee for the DC universe, and I'd like to... I'd like to nominate Rob Rouse right. yeah. being like, excuse us, Mr. Superman, uh, there's a phone box over here. Yeah. yeah. I'd put, I'd put I'd do that. I would yeah. second that, yeah. so that's happening. Uh, that. li- listen, Hulk, don't <laughs> jump on them cars. See, People have paid good money for them. He's Avengers, mate. Yeah. <laughs> I can't <laughs> see any reason, Rob, why we can't just film these bits and just shove them in them films anyway. It's probably yeah. the easiest way to do yeah, it. Probably the best way to do it. Mm-hmm. Oh, man, you're going to have to get some, a snorkel or something. Yeah, I'd like, to, I'd like to be in all of the films that... Um, What's his chops? Uh, the fellow who's Mike in Neighbours. Guy Pearce. <laughs> Guy Pearce, Guy Pearce is it? Yeah. And yeah. I'd like to have them all, all the scripts changed. Yeah. So like when he's in, um, you know, the King's Speech, yes. yeah. someone, go, <laughs> someone goes, is, is that Mike from Neighbours? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Or when he's in LA Confidential, yeah. they go, is that, is that Mike from Neighbours? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just everyone goes, I think it is. Yeah. Is that yeah. Mike from Neighbours? No, well, you can never remember his lines. That's a not to memento. I was good, I like that. <laughs> We're going to run out of time proper. 
What, um, well, yeah. that's the Rory proper question. Well, you I've got, got a proper action oh on it. God, so the, 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 the back page has type as well. Is there back page? Right. It's it's type. So that's, why, that's why I don't read so much them. bio. It's too much, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. I think I guess Robert has just popped in. Let's let's substitute. We'll go to a song. We'll get Rob out. We'll get Kim in. We'll have Kim and Robert. No, I'll go. Yeah, I, I, sh- I should go. No, I th- I'm with Natalie. I think I've taken up far too much of your listeners. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want... Right, right so this is... Well, now, see you in a bit. You're coming to the show, aren't you? Yeah, I'm coming to the show. He's just waiting for you to get it so you can get a lift with you on the motorbike I, I imagine um, oh, can, can I get a backy can I get yeah, a backy that's what I was thinking I, I'd yeah. love to but I've got a second helmet you I'll can do, get a I'll, helmet I'll, in the middle. I'll use like one of these speaker things oh, that, yeah just use your headphones <laughs> are you trying are you in the headphones no <laughs> no <laughs> I've never had a backy ever uh, um, I've got a bike helmet are you going to go home and rage against the machine Pardon? Are you going to go home and rage against the machine again? Oh, well, I always, that's my life's work. Constant. <laughs> Rob constant can't rage. go the home. I'm going to pop, pop a song on, but Rob can't go home because Rob's got to go to the West End, the Guildwood Theatre, where he's oh. performing in Upstart Crow. Tonight, oh. tonight. I must be there at Oh, yeah, six. I did a movie with Ben Hilton. That's on the did bio you? somewhere. Yeah. Which one? It's it? called Maybe Three Baby. Summers. There we go. He wrote and directed it. It was about two. It was about three years ago now. There we go. So uh, seven ups, degrees of separation. Ups, yeah. <laughs> Upstart Crow had just been on the first Ooh. series of it. There we go. Yeah. And I went out to Perth where he lives. Oh, lovely. And we did a we did a little a lovely little comedy about a kind of a folk music festival. Oh, sweet. Robert, that's yeah, nice. Have you ever been to Ben Olsen's nice. house in Perth? No, no, I haven't. It's horrible, isn't it? <laughs> hey. Yeah. It's horrible, isn't it? What's horrible? I've even been to yeah, his holiday home. Down yeah, the, down the coast, oh, wow. I believe it's called the uh, Charlotte River area. It's all vineyards. You ever done that, Rob? Sounds a bit. No, no, I've been to, <laughs> I've been to Australia. <laughs> so you were hey. you were in Australia and he just didn't didn't invite well, you. No, that was that was I was in Australia in two thousand three. He was. I hadn't met him then. Uh, but you'd think you'd have shown him in. You didn't have your own. You hold grudges, don't you, Ian? No, not at all. No, <laughs> I'm, I'm delighted. I'm delighted all around. I just think that Ben Alton could potentially just could have carried on being friends with me. <laughs> right, so I'm gonna. Uh, I'm sure he still is friends with no, you. No, yes, very much so. Yeah, just for, just is he in? Is he in, the, is he in the UK, Rob? Uh, he's just gone back to Australia to finish his stand-up tour. Oh, because I'm coming tonight. Oh, yeah. <laughs> has he, has he gone? <laughs> he to said Australia? that's why he booked all the Australian leg in. It's early, so I believe. Who, who yeah. are you playing in Upstart Crow? I play a character called Bottom. Bottom. Who is Shakespeare's manservant? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Might as well just send Kim Newman home. I reckon. <laughs> we'll get Kim yeah. in. We're keeping Robert. We're is keeping we're Kim. Doing? Yeah. So that's what Rouse, we're doing. Is, Rouse is dismissed. So Rouse, off. you're out. But I imagine. Can I eat a piece of cheese before I go? Yeah, take, take, please have some smoked cheese. Have some smoked cheese. So from Rouse is going. April. Yeah. Robert, sorry, you're going to meet to Rob. I'll shift over yeah, to Kim Rob. Newman's and then we'll get Kim Newman in. Robert, it's been really it's nice yeah. to meet you. I'll you shake too, your hand Rob. before nice. I start eating Pleasure. cheese. Yeah. Party like a little Good luck with everything. Yeah, have some cheese. Yeah, yeah and, help um, Oh, it's weird, yeah, isn't it? Perhaps. No, no, it's not weird. Try is the it? cheese. It's really nice. Try the cheese, Rob. There's this another is, two minutes gone past now. This is for, for those of you listening. It's it's a pack of cheese. Mm. It looks slightly manufactured. Then it looks horrible, doesn't it? No, it looks a bit like Easy Singles. but Nothing doing with it. It's got chilli in it. I brought in. Natalie brought it in. Um, right, back in the studio now. So Robert Sheehan remains with us. Mm. Mickey Cohen was not a man used to being shaken down. Are you genuinely going to read L.A. Noir <laughs> out loud? Are <laughs> you giving it proper count? Just one chapter. All oh, right. Okay. <laughs> uh, we're also joined now by Kim Newman as well. Hello, Kim. Hello. How are we? I'm very well, thank you. Marvellous. I'm not now, sure about you. Actually, we're in, do you know what? <laughs> I'm not here's, sure about here's you. Here's the thing that's going Come on, up. right? Rob Rouse has left now. He's gone off to the he's, West End to his He's play. getting changed, just getting changed. Of course, he, he does it on purpose. He yeah. talks about John, but he, he shows himself off as well. Yeah. Um, it's been a bit ramshackle, this show, for, m- for many reasons. Fair enough. Very rare I'll have two guests at the same time. It's we happened twice. We're counting yeah. on you, like Kim, it. to bring a bit of structure. <laughs> there is a degree of good. Uh, yeah, well, you're a critic, so you... you, you <laughs> Everybody's a critic. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Unfortunately, I actually am. Yeah, but so you should be able to work this out. You should be able to seize control of this because you know how this is yeah. done properly. Um, hmm. What do you critique usually, Kim? Movies uh, and what have you? Yeah, movies mostly. Nice. Uh, Anything <laughs> good recently that I should see? Um, Anything <laughs> obscure? <laughs> well, we're just out of the awards season, so I've mm. sat through enough worthy biopics of people who oh, suffered. How boring. Right. Yeah, right, yeah, and we're, and we're yeah. into um, crappy horror movies they don't even show to the press that I have to go and see. Oh, <laughs> oh I've, I've done that. So I was yeah. going to say, talk, talking about that, Kim, yeah. there's a film that's coming out at the moment called The Parapod. I don't know if you're aware of it. It's not called that. It's not called that. The Parapod. And I'm sick of it being called Sorry, that. Sorry, The Parapod, it's The Movie. It's called The Parapod Movie. The Parapod uh-huh. Movie. And people keep cutting out movie out of it. One hour 48. <laughs> One um, hour 48. It's a bit long for a horror movie. Oh, well, it's not oh, horror. Yeah. It's not oh. a horror. Documentary. Oh, okay. oh. 
ghosts. It's, about, <laughs> ah. yeah. it's not horror. Um, is that your thing, the, the documentary not horror films? Will you critique I would watch it. You would watch it. How many star... We're not watching it. I don't do star ratings. Well, let's do it just yeah, for yeah. today. How, um, many, how many stars today would you give it without, without, without watching yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, a a, 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 a one, five Just give it three and a half. Here's the thing that when you're actually a critic, the thing you never do is express an opinion on something you haven't seen. Well, you, because oh. you will get called up on mm. it at some point. Do you know what's interesting? Gen on, on the subject yeah. of that, genuinely, because I've because because I've done this movie and it's finished yeah. and stuff and all that uh -huh. thing, but I have had a weird. Time. Is it coming out theatrically? It's with every man are doing it on uh -huh. special screening, Q and A screenings, yeah. that sort of thing, yeah. and then we're taking it from there. But I've had a weird thing with it. Uh, somebody who's been a comic for a, a lot of my mm. professional career. So I'm used to being reviewed. I'm used to being... As in standing up and being yeah, funny, yeah, not yeah. that Batman, Superman, no, that, I, I wish, that, 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 a comic book. Yeah, yeah no, yeah, as, yeah, a stand, yeah. as a stand-up, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. so That's I've done more a lot my that. territory. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I have been... I think because I've directed it as well. I'm in it, but it's oh. from a podcast. It was a mm -hmm. podcast and it's become a film. Really? And I think, cool. yeah, yeah. yeah. And, so you're an auteur. Uh, yeah, that's, mm -hmm. my, that's mm -hmm. what I'm trying to be. But this has been the first time that I've actually been like, a bit scared. All oh, right. Do you know what I mean? Well, no, no. The thing is, if you've got a, a movie, you show it, and you're probably not there. If you're a comedian and they hate you, you're in the room. Yeah, but I can handle that. That's, that's yeah. Because then I can then I can argue back. That you know, in, in uh, that sort of situation, yeah. but, I mean, I can, can you argue, argue back. back to that? You know, Blues Brothers throwing the bottles at the chicken wire type. Yeah, yeah. But they just fronted Stop. it out. In Blues yeah, Brothers, they I just stood there and fronted I, it out. I, I was in a bad light that once. Uh, we got. Uh, Dragged off uh, in a biker club in Bath, fronting it out really does not work. Did you, did you get beaten up out in the alleyway? No, we just got thrown out. Um, oh. um, we avoided. Not that I'm disappointed. The they were, like they were, I've like got to say, as, as bikers go, that I think they were a bit sorry for us rather than anything else. Oh, I, uh, I think you. whenever I had a bad gig, and my bad gigs tended to be that they would come to violence. Not oh. from me personally, it wasn't me, but it, but it tended to be oh, really? that something yeah. would, there'd always be a, a big story about it. It wouldn't yeah. just be like, oh, they didn't laugh. There'd always yeah. be something <laughs> happened, yeah. you know. Wow, the world and has become so civilized. It's horrendous, <laughs> but I mean, this is that's kind that's of part and parcel of why I stopped doing it really. But <laughs> um, I, I always fronted it out, always. Mm -hmm. So I always had shoulders mm -hmm. back, always there mm -hmm. and just like, Unmoved by it, mm. and I was moved by it in real life. Mm. It upset me. But so the ghost documentary, yeah, uh, is, is revealing a vulnerability that you didn't mm. know was there creatively. Not perhaps. Um, mm, maybe. I, I, Why? What is it about the do ghost doc? Mm. I mean, you know, just from a uh, from my perspective, it seems more scary to be criticised in the room, just <laughs> you on a stage, than something that you've maybe poured many hours over editing and stuff. Well, and that's what I think cinema. it is. So mm -hmm. I think oh, right, it is right. the hours spent mm -hmm. and the right. whole... I think something happens when you make a film where mm -hmm. you... And it's, I've never made a film before, but where you mm -hmm. are infused with it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, like, it, you spend a lot well, of time... Just never it. read the comments. I fair, I've it's done a... when you're promoting yeah, I know, it. You know it, it is. It's I, yeah, I've, I've done a book... Yeah. Um, I've done a book of short stories that's getting published in Ireland, and I feel the same... A similar thing about it. Because it's what... You know, acting, it's... It's it's sort of it's a contribution to a mm. greater piece of art, mm. and uh, you have you know a, s a script that you can you can fuck around with. Oh, there's a d did first oh, little did swear word. Swear? <laughs> 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 Listeners, as I was being brought to the <laughs> the radio studio before I met the dashing Kim. And the dashing um, Ian. <laughs> well, you know. No, 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 the dashing Natalie. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're Thank also you. sort of... Thank you. Uh, but, you know, Kim is wearing a three-piece suit yeah. and a cravat, you know? <laughs> but um, anyway, uh, I was... Uh, the three people were like... None of this matches. You can... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you can swear, you, you know. not critique yourself. <laughs> he, did get, he did say when he came in, and I said, look, you can, you can swear, and you will. So I've been told that three times. Yeah. I was like, OK, well, yeah. just it don't swear. It felt like an invitation. Yeah. Didn't have to, though. But the book... Uh, thing uh, I think as well because it's 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 sort of the subconscious almost s to some degree splashed onto a page yeah. I mean, it's direct creativity yeah and that's kind of terrifying when pu held up to the world more so than if you're just in something I, I think I think I'm there's also a degree of it for me if I'm speaking absolutely honestly about it where you sort of want to go no let me explain the situation that this was made under Mm. Let me explain how mm. little money's been spent on this. How oh yeah, that's, I mean, that's audiences what? really don't care. No, yeah. they don't yeah. really because they all, yeah. pay the same amount of money to see it. That's true. Yeah, as they mm. pay yeah. to see, I don't know, Avengers. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. 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 Um, 
And also it feels mm. like you'd be apologising for the thing before, come on. Yeah. Totally that. So, yeah. so that, that's the other thing where you don't want to do that yeah, as well. Yeah. But I, no, I have. I've been really reticent. But I wondered from a critic's point of view, mm. is critic the right word? Would that be the right word? Oh, yeah, fair enough. I mean, I do no. lots of other stuff as well. But yeah, it's yeah, one yeah. of the things I do, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, but it'd be yeah. reviewer. Reviewer's a nicer word, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, the fair critic, enough. I, I think. I, 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 am at, I am a critic and a reviewer. I do right. both. But I think they are slightly different. But you also, you've got, you've got a, you know, a, a long history of writing about stuff and yeah. about you know yeah. plenty of books that aren't yeah. reviewed yeah no I'm a, I'm a novelist as well of course, so yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. so I've, I've put myself out there you know yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, uh, yeah. Hang on. but, um, it, but yeah. I, w I wondered if it was the other way around with that if mm. there was how how on that are you personally mm. as well about the fear of the other side oh not not at all I think it's it's um, if if you're a critic who is also a, a creator of, of anything, you've kind of just asked for it already. Right, okay. It? Yeah, it's yeah. like you yeah. have to say, okay, I, I will accept whatever anybody says, or I will ignore it. Yeah. You know, um, you know my say, friend described <laughs> critics as... Uh, um, soldiers who fire on their own troops. Right, okay. <laughs> <Fair enough. laughs> yeah. Well, it's Good. used yeah. in Godot, in Waiting for Godot. Yeah. Critic is the ultimate isn't insult. In oh, Waiting yeah, no, Godot. they're all... all, they're all cause every, <laughs> I say everybody's critic, but also everybody hates them. So yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like, yeah. But it's, uh, a, it's a necessary and until, part, until they get it? great reviews, when then it's all quoted it's on totally the posters, that. isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's totally yeah. that. It's a bit I think they're, um, they're very swayable, though, critics. No, I'm talking about you, Kim, but, like, you know, I saw something in the West End recently. I'm not going to name it, because... But it just got massive rave reviews, and it was a steaming pile of shite. <laughs> For you, though, to you yeah. personally. No, no, I just went and watched a play yeah. recently, and it was just terrible. Yeah, and but it that's, got that, loads that's of your reviews. assessment yeah. of that. Of, of that, you know, nothing but on top of it yeah, thinking but shit. But, but it was objectively shit. Did it get good reviews? Then <laughs> it got good reviews. It got across the bar. It got amazing mm -hmm. reviews. Okay, because there's this sort of. Uh, mm -hmm. I sometimes I think there's a concerted effort to, to sort of placate to whatever's glamorous or popular. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Or would it be it because of the director or because there of the producer team? I've got to say, nobody has ever tried to like bribe me or like. No. <laughs> yeah, Ian, I, I remember years. First time today. Yeah. I remember what you got? Many yeah. Have some cheese, Kim. Would you Actually, like some smoked well, cheese? Yeah, right. Uh, that, it's I've, got jalapeno. So the, in only, it. the only <laughs> bribe I ever remember is that Francis Coppola used to send bottles of, the, of his wine right, okay. at Christmas okay. Okay. but that was like in the uh, in the 80s I don't think he does that anymore yeah. but I guess that's all yeah. th that could also it's one of yeah. those brilliant bribes that could be argued it's not a bribe it's like oh no that yeah. just is the community yeah, yeah, that's, right. yeah. Yeah. that's, what I right. yeah. that's yeah. the way the mafia I mean the film industry <laughs> yeah. works yeah. 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 that would really work well with me as well I'm going to say glass of wine I'd be like yeah. I will give you yeah, a good yeah, review yeah. Yeah. yes well done yeah. um, so Kim I think like generally speaking, the stuff that I'm aware of with, you, yeah. with yourself has been yeah. genre specific. So yeah, there has yeah. there has yeah. certainly been a yeah. an <laughs> element to it of oh, yes. certainly yeah. horror stuff. Oh yeah, no, I've written a lot about horror, and I have written horror. So yeah. And so what's what's the scariest thing you've ever written? <laughs> what's say it right now? <laughs> that was quite. Yeah. <laughs> that was a bit scary. Sometimes all you need is a noise. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, that, I'm, I'm actually interested mm. with someone mm. who over. Who, who's a grown man? <laughs> like, no, yeah, I fair actually, no, yeah. so not no, you, Rob. Not you, no, Rob. Yeah. Yeah. I, I have a. There's a genuine point to this. Yeah, yeah. Um, I would have been a, a big fan of horror as yeah. a teenager yeah. and probably into my early twenties. Mm. Yeah. I think then subsequently, as a bit of maturity sets mm. in, this is from my personal mm. experience. Um, I find it less and less palatable. I find the world, how the world is, mm -hmm. it, it makes it less palatable. Yeah. I now struggle with horror films, generally speaking. Yeah, but I'm like, I don't want to see that. I don't, I'm just not. Do you know, there's a, there's a good uh, renaissance of horror. I'd say yeah. horror noir, Kim. Would you yeah. agree? Yeah, that's like right. Like Robert yeah. Eggers' work. Yeah. He did The yeah, Witch. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah. The Lighthouse, oh, the which I was amazing. a bit less yeah. impressed with. Yeah. But also, um, Babadook. That's um, a fantastic yeah. new yeah, horror movie. Yeah, it's very good. It's because it's... I think there's a, uh, with Babadook anyway there's an unreliable narrator vibe mm. going on where there's someone having a nervous breakdown and you don't know whether her like horrendous delusions mm. have any sort of substance or she's just have gone but on it, a mad but it's, all, it's also do you know the whole beautifully shot you know the, the cult around Babadook and, and all the things that the curse of the Babadook and mm. all that sort of stuff go on <laughs> the, the, it was, it, it mm. was, there's an argument that it was a genuine book a bad book yeah, yeah. No, no, that it, that it was a genuine. Yeah, it's an anagram of that. Yeah. Yeah. That, that it, it was is. a genuine yeah. cursed book. Oh wow! Right. That was that basically destroyed all copies of it. One copy survived, and that was yeah. I can't yeah. remember what this was. The That's whole really thing. okay. Yeah, but, but there was yeah. the, the filmmakers had this book or something. And if you look into the mirror, 
and say yeah, Babadook, exactly. Babadook, <laughs> Babadook. That's all right. He'll yeah, appear the, behind the, you. There, yeah. there is yeah. a, I don't believe in curses and stuff, but there's a maintained yeah. curse mm. of the Babadook. Bad wow. I think the book is called the Badadook. Badadook, I think it is. Badadook. Yeah. I believe in curses, but from a like just a language way. Yeah. You know, like yeah. like spelling, when you spell a word. Yeah. It's interesting mm -hmm. language semantically, yeah. isn't yeah, it? Yeah, because yeah. if someone comes in and they have a, a wildy inability at language, you are somewhat under their spell. You right. know what I mean? So for not in a kind of a magic hocus pocus kind of way, but in a you know, human beings are very influenceable by language. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Is influenceable a word? It sounds right. It is right. now, yeah. baby. That sounds good. That sounds good. Kim, yeah. are you going to critique that? No, no, no I'm fair enough. Kim, give I'm, it. I'm all right Mark's with Mark's out five for that word. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What do you think, Kim? Could it catch on? Yeah. I think so. Yes. Try, sp so. try spell checking it. Is it, yeah. is it a common thing? What, the thing I described, though, yeah. of somebody falling away from horror. Oh, yeah, it probably is. Is that yeah, a common yeah. thing? Yeah, I, th I think there's a certain type of... Uh, the, the idea of horror as, as a... Teenage ritual is quite established, yeah. but then again, I'm talking about slash and ghost. Oh yeah, stuff yeah. But there's a certain really. type of horror that you don't get until you're older. In fact, um, the Babadook's a good one because mm. it, it's kind of most scary if you've had to deal with a toddler, isn't yeah. it? Right. I mean, yeah, yeah. The, to me, the scariest scene, scene in that film is the the one where the kid's just kicking the back of her seat as she's driving home from the party. Oh, yeah. and you think there is nothing yeah. she can do that will make this one better. of the few scenes yeah. that's out of the house, <laughs> yeah. and she's just and it's just. And I also, I mean, Stephen King said this thing like, you could never understand the Amityville horror until you've bought a house. Right, okay. Until yeah, you've yeah. been yeah. through all that. And, and that it is one of the mm. worst things you could do anyway. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. then it's like you go in there and suddenly the basement's full of slime or yeah. whatever. Yeah. And that wasn't on the survey. I'm yeah. going to say something controversial yeah. now, Kim. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. yeah. The Shining. Didn't find it that amazing. All right. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> for, uh, for what reason? I don't know, it's just like, yeah, this is going on a bit now, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> now, would we, so would yeah. we not argue, though, that The Shining would loosely fall under the category of horror? Yes. Mm -hmm. and I w I oh, yeah, it's very centrally to horror. No, yeah, but I, I, think, I, yes. but th so I think that's yeah. the, diff the different yeah. definitions of yeah. horror. Kim passes that glass of water there, would you? Oh, so, me. so if I think of horror, I'm thinking yeah. Nightmare on Elm Street, Friday the 13th, yeah, that yeah. sort of stuff. So yeah. I would... I would still find the, the, the films that aren't yeah. that palatable. Mm. I'm fine with that. Yeah. Um, it's you know it's a lot of blood and gore mm. and that sort of thing and, and senseless violence if there's yeah. any other sort. Yeah. But I think The Shining, even though I'm not particularly, mm. I, I hear what you're saying. I'm not particularly a fan mm. of it. I suppose the acting for me, a lot of the acting is hyper real. Mm. Yeah, but, I, but that, that's a watchable thing. They've though. been dr they've been poked with a cattle prod yeah. for several hours yeah. before those <laughs> yeah. performances have come out. Well, he was. He, I mean, he decimated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't he? It's quite yeah, yeah. So many takes and yeah. 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 But, uh, and but I think it's maybe it's dated slightly. Yeah. You know what I mean? about the Ewan McGregor who was in the uh, sort of sequel? I haven't yeah. seen Doctor it. Doctor Sleep. Scene. Don't yeah. know. How was it? I liked it. I mean, I'm like, what's his name? Mike Flanagan, the director. I think he does interesting things with it. I think it respects the original and goes off in a different way. Um, yeah, it's got a good villain. Yeah, okay. okay. And I think horror quite, you know, often depends on its yeah, villain. Yeah, my mate Joe is a real mm. horror nerd, and actually, he's someone who has maintained his horror devotion mm. up into his late thirties. Right. Mm. And uh, he really liked Doctor Sleep. I yeah, was quite I surprised. Yeah, you know, I think it's Rebe Rebecca Ferguson is terrific. As mm. a, okay. As a, as a, the kind of vampire character. Mm. I think I've not seen mm. Dot Sleep. I would mm. imagine, from my experience with things like that, is it's the sort of thing where I would go, I've no interest in that at all. Mm. I've, I'm not. I won't even watch it. I couldn't care less. I don't really care that much of the original. Yeah. I don't care about it. That I'd then see and go, that was one of the best ones I've ever seen in my life. Do you know what I mean? That happens to be quite a lot. Yeah. yeah. Do you because like I hate. I hate that. What about we so What's his name? Ari uh, Midsommar, director. Um, oh yeah, he Aster. Did, He's what did you think about darling that? of horror yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. What, do you, what do you think of that film? Absolutely loved it. Yeah. yeah okay. Because yeah, what Midsommar? Yeah. Because yeah. I, he saw it before Hereditary. me. Hereditary. Yeah. Hereditary as well. Ian said you said you sat in the car afterwards when he saw Midsommar. I couldn't drive. And I when I saw it was like, what the hell have I just seen? No, it's genuine. I loved it. Yeah. I, yeah. I actually, after Midsummer, I hated Hereditary, but I think the I think the reason I hated Hereditary is because it was too, oh, fuck, I fucking hate this word, too triggering to me. Okay. I felt like it was something, yeah. there were horrible things happening in my real life at the same time, mm. and I was like, mm. I don't want to see screaming and shouting, and I don't want to that <laughs> joke, so I, I, I didn't like it. Yeah. I could see it was structurally intended mm. to be a great film, I just, it just, it yeah. was repulsing it was a, me. It was kind of a horror riff on grief. Yeah. It? But, but, but Midsummer, I went to <laughs> say, Absolutely loved it. I loved the pacing. I would, mm -hmm. I'd have happily had it going for another hour, mm -hmm. yeah. even though it's a very yeah, long film already. Well. I haven't yeah. watched the longer version. I will. Oh, I didn't know there was one. Yeah, there is. The Blu-ray is much longer, yeah. but 
I it eventually becomes night time. When I left the cinema, I was very aware walking back to my car. I was like, I don't feel right at all. <laughs> I feel like I've got most of the sickness or something. Like, what's that smell? And I, no, no, but I paid my I ticket. Myself, I paid yeah. my, my, my ticket to get into the car. So I had 10 minutes to get yeah. to the car park. Sat in the car going, I'm... I don't think I'm safe to drive. I, I felt oh, really genuinely wow. sick. Well, I felt dizzy. I think that's good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that's great. Because it's, it's mesmeric, yeah. and there's so yeah. many things just mm. yeah. subtly moving on the screen. Mm. I felt like properly dizzy mm. and properly. Yeah. Like and kudos to the actors in that. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Jack Rayner's a mate of mine. I had no idea he was in the film. He's an Irish lad. Yes, and he yeah. plays her partner in the film. Mm. Right, okay. And he popped up, and I went, I, you know, only because I know him, and when a familiar mm. face pops up, you go, oh, it's, I'm going to have to work twice as hard yeah, to yeah, suspend disbelief here. But actually, I didn't. You know, it was just, I thought he was he fantastic. Was very good. Film. He wasn't a great guy in the film. No, I'm yeah. sure he is in real life. He so was good kind acting. Of, he, he was kind of, you were kind of rooting for him, yeah. even though he was this sort of lazy, unimaginative mm. guy who was just doing his best with what he mm. had. But yeah, the, the mm. thing with, in that character, Midsummer, he wasn't an out and out villain. No, no he, he wasn't, wasn't quite like, likeable. But I yeah. think yeah. he was, he it I think was, like in social media, he's presented that way. Mm. Like, yeah. oh, this is a feminist thing about it. It's like, but no. he wasn't. Yeah, he wasn't that Femin bad. He wasn't bad at all. He's completely reasonable. Yeah, and he was. Yeah. He was yeah. Yeah. drunk. Yeah, exactly. it's just, it's Didn't film. need to end up in yeah. a mess, yeah. yeah. did he? Yeah. No, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Uh, no, I don't think she we should set fire to people. She no, I don't think so. No, yeah. Florence. Yeah, Florence. Yeah. Is that her name? Florence yeah. Pugh. Florence Pugh. Yeah. 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 With, with Florence Pugh, I saw the trailer. My first knowledge of her was I saw the trailer for what was Merch's Stephen Merchant's. Oh, the fighting with my family. That film. I saw the trailer for that. And honestly, and this this isn't something that I generally do, and, and I try and stop myself doing it. Mm. I was like, I saw it and went, she's a fucking awful actor, that girl. I think she's mm -hmm. dreadful. Just right. the trailer. Mm -hmm. mm, so yeah, I, yeah. How she got the lead in the film? I didn't like the trailer of that movie mm. as well. I but find the, John Waters often refers to trailers not mm. as adverts, but as warnings. Well, well yeah. the thing was, I've, I've, got, I've got to complete the thing I was saying, because yeah, it's yeah, really yeah. important mm. that you're not left to me saying I thought she was a yeah. shit actor. Yeah. Um, I, no, I then good. saw I saw that movie. I saw Midsummer first and thought she was just fucking blew me away. Amazing and then I yeah. saw Fights with My Family. I was like, oh, she's brilliant in this. Mm. And it just shows you how you can either yourself bring something to it where you're like, you yeah. judge it mm. wrong, yeah. or it's a bad trailer, or whatever mm. the reason is. But it's it, rare you find a good trailer these days. I find trailers I, are. You, I don't like to watch them, to be honest, anymore. So I kind of want to. They're the same, yeah. yeah. They follow without. such a formula. Yeah, I kind of avoid mm. them because of the business I'm in, but I occasionally see things. It, not a film I'll, I'll stand up for, but the trailer for American Sniper is brilliant. Because okay. it's really unusual. It's just a three-minute clip of a scene where the main character is in a horrible quandary, and it ends before showing you what he does. Well, okay, yeah. And yeah. it's right, no you know, clips mm. of dramatic moments or shouting Oscar clip scenes or whatever. It's just simply a three-minute short film, almost. And at the end says, what do you think happens next? Okay, that's good. And I thought, you don't see trailers that do that anymore. Because that's quite TV in its yeah. aesthetic. They're building yeah. intrigue for a cliffhanger yeah. so that you'll watch but the next episode. On the, yeah, exactly. On the and uh, uh, another one that I like, it's a while back now, it's a Brian De Palma film called Femme Fatale, okay. oh, yeah. which is really complicated. Mm. And it shows you the whole film on fast forward and then says, you have watched Brian De Palma's wow, new film. Okay. Cool. Now you have to see it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that's so good. it's kind of given everything away, but it hasn't. Yeah, Do you know what the, be the best trailer yeah. I ever saw? Go on. Was The Happening. Mm. That, it's that thing. Yeah, 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 the one film. nobody liked, yeah. although yeah, yeah, it's yeah. not that bad. But yeah. Well, yeah. I, I remember just not liking it at all when yeah. I saw it. But but the trailer I thought mm. was, it felt genuinely new, yeah. genuinely shocking. Mm -hmm. There was something like, I need to know what's happening here. Are there to... certain filmmakers who hey, right, um, right. maintain dominion over their trailers? I think quite a lot do now. Although, I, uh, uh, in a way, the best trailers were done under the old sort of studio system where some crazy editor would come in and, and misrepresent the film horribly. Right. You know, I mean, so Joe Dante started out editing trailers and he always used to splice an exploding helicopter into everything. <laughs> no matter what it was, he got he had this shot of an exploding Miss helicopter. Miss Marple. Imagine. There it would go in. <laughs> yeah. And it would make the so was it just stock footage? Yeah. Is that yeah. footage? Well, yeah. on the promotion tour of a few things, um, I've got wind of the fact that the trailers go through a real sort of trial and error process with studios and they show them to lots of people and they mark their moments out of 10 and right. they do like 
massive kind of focus groups before they unleash them on the world oh, which is yeah which is tough because you don't really end up with something mm. intriguing you just end up with what they perceive to be the best of everything all yeah, watched yeah. together yeah. but you also which get that thing recently was it the trailer for Sonic the Hedgehog where uh, they end up remaking the film because people hated the trailer so I think, much. They, did, I think they did it with Cats as well they, yeah, they redid yeah. some of and it and of course it didn't work with Cats but Sonic's Apparently been not. a huge hit although yeah. nobody thought it would so obviously whatever they did after the trailer worked yeah, yeah. But, wow. Yeah. Well, look, we're out. What did they do, Kim? Well, we literally. Uh, I think they took his We have to end the show, guys. <laughs> we're out of Literally time. got seconds left. Thank you oh. for coming in. Um, thank you very much for coming in, Kim Newman. Thank you for coming in. Uh, the job. upcoming day, event that we're going to be speaking about. 27th, uh, Thursday. Oh, oh, that's right. Yeah, this Thursday that. coming. Yeah, yeah. Uh, show that's tracking and beyond and also Rob, uh, Robert thank you for coming in man and right, the Umbrella mate. Academy is uh, there a release date for that second I series know, yeah. I don't know is it, it'll be on, on the PR team it'll be on when it's on yeah beyond yeah. you'll see billboards it'll of be our everywhere. face it'll be everywhere yeah. thank you to Rob Rouse thank you Natalie thank you Ian we shall see you again next week